Hello, this is Laura McCarry at The Hidden Edge with another tea break tip on how to use business models and tools to help you manage your growing business. I'm having a bit of a problem with my lip syncing at the moment, so I've had to revert to a static screen for this particular introduction. Hopefully that won't put you off. Uh, I'm trying to get it sorted at the moment. Anyway, today we're looking at Andy Neely's four CPs of measurement and a Price Waterhouse Cooper checklist for reporting those measures internally and externally. Andy Neely, in his book, Measuring Business Performance, suggests that if we measure the wrong things, things will go wrong and that it's important to design robust performance measures, but more importantly, how do we go about communicating them? So let's look at his four CPs of measurement. There are four positions. Check position, communicate position, confirm priorities, compel progress. They are sequential. Check position, they enable control by allowing managers to see where the organization is in relation to its plan and its competitors. Communicate position, they are used to report performance internally and to the organization's external stakeholders. Confirm priorities, in other words, the crucial factors on which managers must focus. Compel progress. Because performance against key performance indicators is used to evaluate managers and staff, this ensures that every employee will want to achieve them. Neely describes the three roles of management in communicating as complying, checking and challenging. You can look at the four CPs of measurement and explore them a bit further around the comply, check and challenge roles. The four C's, as mentioned, are sequential. Position has to be checked before it can be communicated. Plans and priorities cannot be confirmed until performance data has been shared. Progress cannot be compelled until priorities have been identified. It's important to bear this in mind as it implies that however an organization chooses its measures, it should design systems which allow the position to be checked and communicated, priorities to be confirmed and progress to be compelled. Price Waterhouse Cooper suggests that between four and 10 measures are likely to be key for most types of businesses. But how do we communicate those? You may use a dashboard like this, or you may use a narrative like this from HBOS. The key performance indicator narratives that Price Waterhouse Coop suggests can be, can be developed into this checklist. Linked to strategy, the primary reason for including performance indicators in corporate reporting is to enable the readers to assess the strategies adopted by the company and their potential to succeed. KPIs presented in isolation from strategies and objectives or vice versa cannot fulfill this requirement and will fail to provide the reader with the level of understanding they need. Purpose. It is important for management to explain why they believe a performance indicator is relevant. In many instances, this will be because it measures progress towards achieving a specific strategic objective. Definition and calculation. Given the rapid increasing usage of industry specific terminology, clear definitions of performance indicators add greatly to the reader's understanding of exactly what is being measured and allows comparisons between companies within an industry. Sources of data. To enable readers to make their own assessment of the reliability of the information, it is important to identify the sources of the data used in calculating performance indicators and any limitations on that data. 
any assumptions made in measuring performance should be explained so that readers can reach an informed view of judgments made by management. Future targets. Some performance indicators are best suited to a quantification of future targets. Expectations and aims for other indicators may be better explained in a commentary. Either way, a forward-looking orientation is essential for the readers to assess the potential for strategies to succeed and to give them a basis against which to assess future performance. Trend data. Measurement of performance in isolation over a single period does not provide the reader with very useful information. An indication of how performance has improved or worsened over time is much more valuable in assessing the success of management strategies. Changes in KPIs. Comparability over time is a key principle for good business reporting. When such changes are made to the KPIs being monitored, either in terms of the KPIs used or how they are calculated, these changes need to be explained. And finally, benchmarking. Perf performance benchmarked against a relevant external peer group with an explanation of why these peers were chosen is considered extremely valuable to users. This provides a clear indication of who management believes the company's competitors are, as well as setting down the company's own performance in the context of a well-defined peer group. Use this checklist to explore your business's narrative in terms of KPIs and critical success factors. Of course, management may also disclose other measures which they use to monitor trends and factors which can provide further context to their narrative reporting. Have a go. Download the templates from the Hidden Edge website. And whilst you're there, do share your stories of where you've used the four CPs template and the checklist to determine where your reporting gaps might be. So next. Until next tea break time, enjoy the rest of this one.